Anti-gun logic. Adam writes, it would, it would work if you make gun possession a capital crime and make killing gun owners legal. There is no reason at all to allow gun owners to live. Their existence is a direct threat to every American. Okay, yeah, that's not violent. Here's a solution. If you see an open carry activist, just tell the cops he's pointing at people. Bring friends to act like randoms to back up the story. And boom. Let the gun not enjoy his felony. Uh, aggravated assault charge is what I'm assuming he's saying. Which, again, is illegal. Let's see what we have here. How many schools, churches, government buildings have been shut up recently? All gun owner, all gun free zones. How did that work out? Did they get shot up because the shooters left their guns at home? That guy's actually arguing that. They got shot up because the detectives knew no one had guns. It's a soft target. Thanks for giving me the you know, whatever. And then Stuart stupidly asked, But what would happen if the shooters had left their guns at home? Yeah, that doesn't happen. And then are you serious dude? This is the dumbest fucking question I've ever heard. That's your counter argument. Truth will feel better for you and good luck on life. Yeah, that guy's an idiot. Next. More anti-gun logic, which actually is a m lacking of. Man shooting at Planned, Par Planned Parenthood. Of course a bomb is using it as an excuse to take away our guns. Man. Did you realize that people died, right? Is now only the time to complain about stricter gun regulations that that may prevent such things from happening, which is what every anti-gun person does during a shooting. Yes, people die. This is not the issue. I'm talking about gun control. Please stay on topic. Do you understand the sensitivity you sound? Or, uh, understand how sensitive you sound? How, you, how are your personal opinions some, somehow more important than the lives of innocent people? The point, though, is that the government will use... This is shoots to take away guns. Americans need to join together and vote to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, that's obvious. But they, uh, yeah. So it's okay for them to use mass shootings by terrorists to infringe on people's various rights out of fear. Hope Brennan gets shot by Trump. What a turnout for the books. Fucking idiot. And you have this wonderful anti-gun. An example of anti-gun because they're all fucking violent. Next. I like reading stories of gun owners shooting themselves or their loved ones accidentally. It makes me smile. So, injury and death makes you smile. But we gun owners are the nuts. Rather be a nut than an asshole like you. Well, that's just not nice. I'm an expert as a matter as much as I need to be. Gun to kill people and they need to be banned. They have no place in any modern society. Assault bullets are the ones in the gold case and gets them at the end to make them more deadly. I know this for a fact. That's why assault guns have different shaped bullets than handguns. Just because I don't know all the names of every type of assault gun out there doesn't mean I don't know how direct, how deadly they are. Yeah, this guy shouldn't have any children. Next. Okay, peaceful anti-gunners say use the government. Oh, pro-gun households deserve to be bombed by drones. Yeah, okay. Thanks for that one. Want a gun? Take a bullet. Take this. Godless NRA cowards. You can have a gun once you understand the pain of being shot. Well, I guess I'm safe then. Whoa. Freaking hate having to zoom in on this shit. The gun people are insane. My brother is one of them. He is homophobic. When my parents were in the hospital, he was staying at their house. Got me in a room in the hospital. They got me a room in the hospital and told me not to go near their house because he was on it. And he drinks like a lot. Well, drinks like an asshole, apparently. Another reason to ban all private arms. And a gun owner, or pro-gun person, so your brother ruins it for the rest of us. Here's a thought, why don't you call the authorities on your brother for being impaired while in possession of arms? Seems like right under your nose you could stop some future crime. And since, when the hospitals start running out rooms like a hotel? Yeah, I bet you that guy didn't think that went all the way through. 
kill every gun owner and supporter. We must approach this problem as revolutionaries. First, we kill every NRA member, member apparently, who is a sticker on the car house and then set bombs at all gun shows. And then assassinate all, all politicians who take bribes from NRA lobbyists. We have a print, we have a print that works because it does in the Middle East. Watch and learn and then do the right thing for the innocent. And we call you a terrorist and you are the reason we own guns. Let's see here. No matter what you th think of Kim Kardashian, she is followed by 34 million people on Twitter. Yeah, nothing to brag about. That's what leadership looks like. We are deeply thankful. Have you heard of, have you heard of the heartbreaking story about David Connolly, who slaughtered his ex-girlfriend and her entire family, six kids, husband, and her? He purchased the guns and ammo online. How is it so easy to purchase guns online? It's actually not, but whatever. Does this not, sti not stick in you? No background checks needed. Actually, they are. You buy a gun from a retailer online, that it's sent it to your local gun store to have them run a background check. So if you're using Kim, Kim Kardashian to further your agenda, I'm sorry, but you've already lost. Let's see here. Long button. How are we losing? With every mass shooting, we get closer and closer to our goals. Yes, that's right, people. They have no problem admitting they're using shootings to try to attempt to screw us over. Instead of, you know, caring about the fact that people died. Oh, let's see. Out shopping, I saw a gun in an NRA cap. Couldn't help but wonder when the shooting would start. We shouldn't have to live like fear. Yeah, that's not fear. That's paranoia. Considering I walk around with an NRA hat all the time. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so I saw us on a gun st on a group I'm part of. You're going to be perfect. Zoom in a little bit. Shaking my head, open carrying an Albertsons, and lady followed me through the whole store on her phone saying, Yes, has a gun in his side. He's just starting, he's just going up and down aisles. No, it's not in his hands. No, he's not advancing towards anyone. And she's pissed off. What the fuck do you mean that's, that's perfectly legal? Legal. Her on a conversation with the cops, apparently. That's bullshit. That can't be legal. He doesn't even look like a cop. Do your fucking job. Thanks for nothing. Now I'm laughing, walking towards the register with my basket of milk, eggs, and a sour patch kids. Yeah, whatever you like. She's still behind me, then stands behind me in line, talking to yourself and self about me. The cashier stops. Tells the lady he's in there all every week and actually a nice guy and every right to carry and has every right to carry a gun. But in that case, Rob Robert came in here trying to kill us all people like him would save our lives. I appreciate him caring. I need more people like him out there. I smiled, said thanks, looked at her, have a nice day. Then the crazy bitch followed me behind me and took a photo of my truck. Yes, but we're the problem, obviously. Let's see, uh, John Urban, I think concealed carry laws, I think concealed carry laws are great. I've been thinking about getting licensed myself. It's just semi-autos that should be outlawed. Those are meant for mass destruction. Yes, yeah, semi-autos are the problem. And this is the fun group who's always talking about swatting and calling the police to illegally report stuff. If she's someone carrying a firearm in public, let's see here, can I zoom in? Okay, if you see someone carrying a firearm in public, openly or concealed, I'm not quite sure how you're going to see it concealed, but whatever, and have any doubts about their intent, call 911 immediately and ask the police to come to the scene. Never put your safety or the safety of your loved ones at the mercy of weak gun laws that arm individuals in public with little or no criminal or mental health screening. You're right, because background checks don't check that stuff. Moron. See, if you could press a button to eliminate guns, I would press it and physically beat up every redneck in the in America. Okay, and you're the reason we actually have guns. 
Anyways, that's the end for this episode. Yes, it was longer than I expected, but oh well. I may do more of these if I find more random pictures. Anyways, have a nice day. Only we can end unarmed victim zones.